Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we'll be making our own AI characters for the Taver for Tavern AI. Links will be in the description for the previous video if you want to know how to set up Pygmalion AI with Tavern AI. You can go to www.chub.ai and you can search for a character here, anywhere you want. You know, anything. I don't know. Just because I'm seeing Knuckles, I look up Sonic. There. Well, Sonic did not come up of all the characters. We got Shadow. Tails. Oh, okay. There's Sonic. Right? And um, this is the character that I have selected. I just downloaded it. What you're going to do is you're going to go here and get the PNG. Now, if you don't know, all photos have something called metadata inside of it. And it basically contains... So usually they contain information about the photo such as date and also coordinate location where the photo was taken at. This is basically the same thing, only instead of what we're putting inside that metadata, that metadata, it's going to have, so here, this was, this was the image that I got, right? So instead of having that, the IP address, the coordinates, and the date that it, the photo was taken, we're replacing that with character traits essentially right so now that i've got this photo we can just minimize out of that right and you can kind of go into the description and you can kind of see how the character is comprised so you've got rius that's her name a description of who she is essentially this is you literally building this character and the ai is going to turn itself into this character for you personality and the first message a picture and an example of how you want this character to interact with the chatter essentially all we're going to do is we're going to go straight to the character sheet and then click import so go to characters import and we want to click on the picture that we just downloaded from chub.ai <laughs> i can't believe that's the name okay character imported great so now we can see our four characters the three preloaded ones and the new one we just downloaded cool okay so this isn't too bad i just responded hey and they responded back so what do you think about our new classmate and they can also do actions as well which is really cool like something like this that's why pygmalion is the the model to go for because it's more than just conversations it's also actions links will be in the description down below for all these um you're gonna go here and you're just gonna click create a new character one thing that we have to understand and talk about is tokens there's a certain set of tokens for each character and the ai can only interpret a certain amount of tokens given to each character so if you create too many tokens for the character, you can run into memory problems and you can also run into like where the character won't remember their name or the character can't really remember the conversation that you're having. And so it's not really, there's no continuity. I'm going to do my snake. My snake's name is Snom. No, her name is Snom. Summary, short description of what this character is. A pet ball python. Boom. Done. Personality. This is how I would phrase it, but there are different ways that you can learn online. Is you're gonna to wanna to do quotation marks, and anytime you wanna add something, just do a plus. So it should look something like this. And then basically select what you want uh, in between. Well, I got a really good picture for this. I've got my picture. From my phone of a paul python um we got our name we got a summary now we're going to start implementing things from the personality so for example snom she is she's very she's very shy so we'll just do shy that's literally it um very adventurous all right so for the personality you're going to want around 300 to 400 tokens um for the sake of this video i'm just going to kind of cut it short right um now scenario and we come up with a scenario that this character can interact with 
like uh okay so this is what i did for this scenario you're venturing through the woods when you step on a tail by accident ouch you hear you hear from behind the trees perfect fine that'll work in the reference that i'm looking at this one can be from three to four hundred the scenario can be from and I think you can actually, like, balance these out. They have to be under a certain amount of tokens. When you go into Tavern AI, you can actually look at the amount of tokens each character has. Looking at Aqua, she only has 270 to 491 tokens. That's not that much. I've seen characters with well over... But I, do, I have a character here that has 843. For example, if I go here and look up... Th these are two that were imported. Let's see how much is... 368 to 776. See? Now, th those are going to be more character. This one's even more. We want to make sure that the amount of tokens is small so it's not consuming so much memory so that the AI can have a lot of... Uh, can retain a lot of the information that you're inputting it throughout the messaging. Otherwise, you can, can't, you can run into some issues. Um, going back into here... We've got our scenario. We've got our personality. We need a greeting message. Perfect. Uh, and there we go. I made a little bit of conversation between you and the character. This should basically work. So this can be up to around the same size as the personality and the example messages. I kind of finished what I want for our SNOM character. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to export. Export as image. Now we've downloaded this image. We could head back to Tavern AI, go to Characters, Import New Character, Snom PNG, Character Imported. We could head back, and boom! I just made a character. So now we can see the the thing, basically what I've designed. Ouch! You stepped on me. Who are you? I'm a pet ball python. Uh, see now this is where you kind of start to tinker with it a little bit like i didn't i don't want i don't want that for this character that's not something that i like okay so i went back and i edited the character a little bit now we're at 600 tokens that's a lot uh total it's 747 so we're still in our bounds we're in between that six and eight zone kind of the snake my owner brought me with him when he went on an adventure but sometimes i get lonely and wanted to and want to go outside. I sneak out and try and find my <laughs> my own way in the world. I can feel my way just fine. I'm used to it. But sometimes I wander off course and get separated from my owner. I get scared. So now I stay close to the path to be safe. See, now this character has gotten a lot more complex since we've added in a lot more of these things. That's how you make a character. I'm sorry it took so long. Uh, I kind of wanted to get it a little bit better um maybe i could do a more in-depth tutorial on it but just be careful with how you're dedicating these tokens sometimes you're gonna have to go back into the editor like i did and you're gonna have to swap some things out and prioritize what you like over what you don't like and what the character should be more centered around or or maybe you didn't like a certain thing that the character did or maybe the character didn't do the thing that you wanted it to do right and you have to kind of go back in and play around with it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and sub. And if you haven't seen the last video where I show you how to make Pygmalion AI, just click the link in the description. And it'll be right down there. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. There she is. There's Snom. She's actually sleeping right now, ironically. as That was one of the traits that I put in for the character creation. She's always sleeping. <laughs> Fucking taking forever over here.